Yeah, how's everybody uh, doing today? I hope everybody's good. I'm actually just getting ready to go to the gym. Got my pre-workout. <laughs> I'm just parked right in front of the gym right now. And I thought now would be the perfect time to talk about the book. The book that has helped me get into well, really the best shape that I've, I've ever been in in my life. Um, if you haven't read this, I strongly recommend Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Michael Matthews right there. And this is the symbol science, which is what I connected with, of building the ultimate male body. Now, there is one for females. It's called Thinner, Leaner, Stronger, which I hear is brilliant itself. So this book, let me give you a little bit of backstory. I've been going to the gym, working out. You know, I've surfed my most of my whole life. I've been active, hiking, all that fun stuff. But I just started going to the gym about five years ago. And pretty shortly after I, I started going, about a year into it, you know, I was lifting weights, um, and I, I hit a plateau. So there's a little bit of a plateau that I hit. And I never really got past that. I was, I was eating okay, and I was um, strength training, but... You know, kind of, I, I had a program, but it wasn't a very strict program. So we hit this plateau. So about three months ago, I downloaded the audiobook, Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. I saw it recommended to me. And I said, okay, probably just more bro science and, and, and you know, magazine type articles and crazy new fad diets and all this, all this crap. But I had nothing else to download on, on Audible, so I, I just downloaded this. I, I wanted to see what it was about. And I listened to it, and the very beginning, he talks about how he wants to be the antithesis to bro science, which if you don't know what bro science is, it's this weird pseudoscience and all these life hacks to, to get you fit and you know six-pack abs by eating this one simple thing or take ice-cold showers and, and you, you know what, all, the, all this nut stuff. So he wanted to be the antithesis, antithesis of this, and he talks about the science of getting lean and building muscle. And I was listening to this and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. So now, now you got me hooked because, uh, you know, frankly, the industry, any industry, you, uh, the personal development, fitness, uh, even the meditation industry, you know, it's all oversaturated with information that's just bogus. So I listened to this and I started applying the program to my life as soon as I finished the book, so it was about three months ago, I know, excuse me, about two months ago, I started this program, and I am now in the best shape I've ever been in my life. So Michael Matthews, big thumbs up for you. So it's just, it's just an awesome book. It's very simple to understand. It's the science of, of what you need to be eating and how you need to be training. So I'll give you an example in my own story. I, I would go to the gym. And I would do bench presses, squats, deadlifts, all, all the, you know, the weight, weightlifting, all that fun stuff. But I didn't really have, you know, I, I knew what I was going to be doing kind of, I knew I'd do bicep curls and I, I knew I would be doing lat pull downs and, and bench presses and I knew I would be doing, you know, abs and, but I didn't really, ha I didn't really track anything. So in this program, he has you doing all the, you know, classic lifting, but the idea for men is you want to lift between four and six reps. So not 10, not 15, four to six reps. And if you can lift six reps on a certain lift, you want to add 10 pounds. And then you want to try to get to six. And then once you get to six on that, you add 10 pounds. And then so you move on to the next exercise. And so that's something I never done before. I never tracked what I was lifting. I just kind of show up at the gym and go, you know what? Um, I'll lift this, you know, I'm in the mood to kind of lift a little lighter today. I'm in the mood to lift heavier today, which of course isn't going to get anybody anywhere, uh, you know. And so I would go and I had fun at the gym and, and it would be great and I'd, I'd be therapeutic, but I wasn't really growing physically. I wasn't really, uh, you know, getting anywhere substantial. I hit a plateau and I really stayed there. So that's the basic foundation of, of the workout routine. So four to six reps. If you get six reps, add 10 pounds. So every week I go to the gym. So today is shoulder day, so I'll be doing military presses. I think I'm lifting 135 
pounds on military presses right now. And I'm about five reps last week on each set. So this week I'm going to try to get six reps on my first set so I can add uh, to 145 pounds. So the idea is every week you want to either add weight or get an extra rep. So every week you're improving. And that was like a really cool thing. Now I'm going to the gym and I'm going, all right, I got to beat last week's record. I got to beat last week's score. You know, got to get stronger. And I have something to work towards, which, which makes it infinitely more fun. And I've seen the results already in, in just under two months. Huge results. Huge results already. Um, talks about doing high intensity interval training cardio. So 30 seconds, you know, fast sprinting, 30 seconds, you know, slow jogging, fast sprinting, slow jogging. So I've been adding that and the diet. So if the weightlifting part was a big insight for me, you know, tracking my progress, four to six reps, the kind of lifting I should be lifting, the diet part was um, equally as important. But I I use the word diet, but it's not a diet. It's just how a human being should be eating, right? It's a science of what a human being should be eating. So not only tracking my exercise, tracking what I'm lifting and what I should be lifting and what I want to lift next week and, and staying on that program, but tracking what I'm eating. So in the book, he talks about, you know, how much do you weigh? What are your goals? This is what you should be eating. I downloaded an app called My Fitness Pal, and I uploaded the macros. You know, you got your carbs, you got your protein, and you got your fat. And there's a certain amount of each of, th- each of those that you need to be eating every day to maintain or to lose weight or to gain weight. So right now I'm, tr- I'm losing two pounds a week, and so I'm ha- I have a certain amount of macros that I need to meet. Now, when I found out, it's very interesting. What I found out was that I, I wasn't eating enough. So I'm supposed to be eating 2,000 calories a day. And, you know, I thought for sure I was eating over that. I wasn't tracking it. And I wasn't. I was eating nearly, nearly that. So, you know, it's funny. I, I, I started losing weight when I started eating more. And I started tracking, all right, I need to eat more. And protein especially I was deficient in. So eating enough protein was super important to me. And, and I was a bit over on carbs. Um, so I had to lighten up with the carbs and lighten up on the fats, but eat way more protein than what I was used to eating. And like clockwork, it was, the, it was the coolest thing. You know, I'm having so much fun going to the gym, always trying to beat my record. I'm, I'm tracking my, my food all the time on my fitness pal, you know, all right. And it's kind of, you know, your brain's working. All right. I need to get 50 more grams of protein by the time the day's done. How am I going to do that? So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, chicken breast here. And then I get like half a protein. It's kind of fun to kind of think like that. Right especially when you start seeing results, you know, and straight out, you know, I always say that in, in the industry that I'm in, personal development, um, in the industry that Michael Matthews is in, in, in the fitness industry, there's such an oversaturation. There's so much information overload out there. So it's always important when you're looking to achieve something to find your guy or your girl that you look up to. Find that person and get rid of all the other bullshit that's information that's surrounding you, right? And so as far as, you know, I have, I have my guy for meditation, Shenzhen Young. He's my guy for meditation. Um, you know, I have, I have my guy for, for coaching. That's Rich Litvin. And my guy for fitness is this guy, Michael Matthews. And, you know, I'm not getting paid to post this video or anything, but I am like so passionate about, about this book. Because it, it ch- it's changing my life, and I'm 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 like an evangelist for this for this book and this program. I'm telling everybody to try it. The women, you got to try try the f- female program. I, I'm I'm telling all my friends, you know, they're noticing the change in me, and, and I'm saying, do you need to do this? It's it's incredible. And I'm not selling anything. I just get in the best shape of your life. And so my guy is Michael Matthews, and it and it wasn't gonna be, you know, I started. I I was like, I'll give it a shot. It's backed by science. I'm going to try this program. I'm going to read the book. I'm going to apply it to my life. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? I was like, I'm going to give it a month. And like in a month, it was just the coolest, the coolest thing. I was so pumped. And I'm in month two right now. And I'm just, I've never been in better shape in my entire life. And I'm just, I, I've never had more energy. So I'm eating right. I don't have to take naps. I'm not drinking as much coffee. I have so much energy now. I'm always fired up to get to the gym. because I want to beat last week's record. Michael Matthews is my guy. And, you know, it's something to, to, to deeply consider. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm an event, like I said, I'm an evangelist pretty much for this guy. I, I went out and bought the, so he's got the book, 
which has got all the information in here, you know, the exercises, how to do them, um, your nutrition, you know, here's, here's a bit of the program. So there's the book, but I also went out and I bought the um, workbook so I could track my progress. Um, so I have the Bigger, Leaner, Stronger workbook. So every day in the gym, I'm tracking my progress, writing it out. All right. I bench pressed 240 today for five reps. Next week, I got to get to, I got to get to six reps. So I get to 250, right? So I bought his workbook and I, I also bought his cookbook. So a lot of people say like, oh, you got to eat healthy. You have to, you know, to get a six pack and to get super lean, you, you got to be on it all the time. You can't have beer. You can't have, you know, your comfort foods or anything like that. That's not true. That's not true at all. So it's just a matter of counting your macros and making sure it's someone in line, you know, and I'm not super strict on counting either. I'm not, but it is a basic guideline for me as far as eating what I should be eating and what I shouldn't be eating. So maybe when I say plateau again, maybe I'll take it a little more strict. Who knows? We'll see. But his workbook or his, uh, excuse me, his Michael Matthews cookbook, The Shredded Chef, it's got so many awesome recipes in there that, that I've been cooking that are so delicious and you wouldn't think that they're healthy. Like this lasagna that has, you know, everything you need. It's got protein. It's got the car- enough carbs and fat. You know, the perfect balance. It's got so many great things in there like chicken dishes, um, shrimp dishes, all these great things. So you don't have to completely, you know, and I want to stress this on, on everybody. I say this with my clients and coaching, life coaching them. Success isn't that hard. It's just that the world makes it seem like it's hard because they're trying to sell you something right? Usually it's only one or two attitude shifts away. This wasn't difficult for me. When I go to the gym, yes, I got to get fired up now. You know, I got to go like, you know, I listen, I put in my, my, uh, Van Halen or my, or my Nightwish into my headphones, you know, and I get, I get psyched myself out. I, I, I drink my pre-workout, but it's not, if, if you just stick with it, it's not that hard. And that's, I think the big thing I want to tell everybody, just get rid of all the information overload. You, you pass by men's health magazine and they tell you, you need to take ice cold showers to get a six pack. It's just, don't listen to it. It's too much information. I'd highly suggest giving this book a shot. At least give it a month, write in the comment below what you think, what's going on in your life, how you're enjoying it. Michael Matthews, this guy is a stud. I'm sending all my love to him. I want to get him on my podcast. So that's, that's my next goal. I'm going to, Mike, I'm coming for you. I'm going to ask you to come on my podcast soon. I want to talk all about this um, completely, you know, I'm never getting another fitness book or anything, you know, I've had trainers and all this fun stuff. It's great, but nothing compares to, 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 to what's been happening here onwards and upwards. And as always be good, be awesome, be great, baby. Woo.